Hi there, welcome back to Quick Tips with Phoebe and today I'm going to show you how to do a multi-track recording from your mixer and if this is your first time watching my video please hit the subscribe button click on notification so that you'll be notified when I put up videos just quick tips and spend 5 minutes with me every day and learn this, 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 this alright now let's go into how to do your multi-track recording what are the things you need first you need your computer you need a usb to MIDI cable or a cord to connect the computer to your mixer and you also need a daw in my case i'm using a logic pro x software whatever software you're using or whatever system you're using ensure that you're using a digital mixer so now that you've set up your mixer what are the things you need to do first? you want to record what is coming from your mixer to your computer okay so you want to load your project on your Right, you want to load your project and you select new, or yes, you, you want to load your, your door and you select new. After you select new, you come to your audio, you, you select audio and you select audio input, right. Select audio input, select start from input one and ascending order, and you come and edit where you have number of tracks. So I'm going to put text two because I want to record all text two tracks on the mixing board. Ensure that you've enabled the record. So all you want to do is just create. And as soon as you create, you see all your files from audio one to audio text two. You want to now decide to name each track. go to audio preferences and ensure that you include your output device as dn32 and you put your input device as dn32 so all you want to do now is after you've labeled all your tracks you want to go ahead and hit record computer and that's it you have the audio being recorded as separate files on your daw and that's all you need to do to create a multi-track and ensure that you have a proper like a, a, a hard drive that is big enough that has enough space to take all these recordings because you want to have like you don't want a situation where your recording is hanging or breaking because you don't have enough space bonus tip also if you want to do stereo out recording so just come insert your usb drive you can press record and it records whatever is coming out of your board to stereo so you can just stop your recording after everything is done and it saves to your flash drive and that's how you do a multi-track recording and also that's how you do a stereo recording if this tip was really helpful to you click the subscribe button turn on notifications and also if you would like to learn more and know more about life sound processes sign up for my life sound startup course right now go to the link in the caption below and just sign up for my life sound starter course it's a four weeks diploma course where you learn everything from setup to mixing to recording and get everything that you need to get see you soon bye